Last week, I asked if you wanted to see a tutorial for knitting a really easy baby hat, and well, the majority of you said yes. So in today's tutorial, I'll walk you through a super simple knit baby hat that really works up in less than an hour. The step-by-step -step tutorial is coming up next. My name is Brittany and I'm your guide to better crochet and knitting because I believe yarn does more than make pretty things. I craft because it occupies my hands and it calms my mind. I love the process and something pretty is the result. I want that for you too. Here, we love yarn, we love to learn, and we truly believe yarn can do more for us than make pretty things. Cast on 36 stitches using the long tail cast on. I'm using US 13 circular knitting needles that measure 16 inches. That's 16 inches from tip to tip. With all 36 stitches cast on, spread your stitches along your circulars and holding the working yarn in your dominant hand, knit the first stitch. Now go ahead and mark that first stitch with a stitch marker to help you keep track of the beginning of the round. I'm using locking stitch markers by Clover, but you can use a ring stitch marker or even a bobby pin. Rounds one through five have the same repeat, knit one, purl one, which is just a basic ribbing pattern. We've already made our first knit, so the next one will purl. Now, if you're more comfortable knitting continental style where you hold the yarn in your non-dominant hand, this is what it looks like to knit and purl. For rounds six through 16, knit every stitch. Here's a little tip. Using color changing yarn like this is a really great way to make a simple project look a lot more interesting. This one is Lion Brand Mandala Thick and Quick, and the color is called Turbine. Now, if you choose to substitute yarn, you can do so, but make sure it's a number six super bulky so the sizing will come out properly. You'll need four US 13 double pointed needles to knit the crown. As you decrease and your stitch count also decreases, eventually it won't fit around your circular needles and you won't be able to knit anymore. To begin round 17, use one of your double pointed needles to work the first 12 stitches. Here's the repeat for that. Knit four and knit two together. That's six stitches total, so we'll do that once more. Knit four and knit two together. Now pick up your second double pointed needle and do the same thing. Knit four, knit two together twice. Now pick up your third double pointed needle and knit four, knit two together twice. For round 18, use your fourth double pointed needle to knit this repeat. Knit three, knit two together. As you empty one double pointed needle, use the free one to knit off the next needle. Round 19, the repeat is as follows. Knit two, knit two together. For round 20, knit one, knit two together is the repeat. And for the final round, round 21, we'll knit two together on the remaining stitches.
go ahead and fasten off leaving about an eight inch tail. Then use that tail to secure the opening All right, that wraps up this episode of Be Hooked, the place where we love yarn. We love to learn and we believe yarn can do more than just make pretty things. Subscribe for continued progress and I'll see you in the next one.